How to solve the most common Thanksgiving dinner disasters. Don't panic. There's practically no Turkey Day fiasco that can't be fixed. Really? You will need aluminum foil, a sieve, flour or cornstarch, chicken broth, a casserole dish, a cheese grater, butter, cheese, and cans of whipped cream or heavy cream for whipping. Optional, salt, soy sauce, fortified wine, port, or bourbon, and chicken stock. Step one, forgot to thaw your turkey? Put it, still wrapped, in the sink or tub and covered with cold water. Replace the water every half hour. It will take about 30 minutes per pound to thaw completely. If you thawed the bird but forgot to put it in the oven in time for dinner, simply cut it into pieces, rub them with oil, pan fry them until the skin is crisp, and then bake them at 350 degrees for about an hour. Step two. Speed up a slow cooking bird by turning up the oven to 450 degrees, but no higher. Cover with foil to avoid burning the skin. Uncover the bird 10 minutes before taking it out of the oven. Don't worry if you forgot to take the giblet packet out of the turkey. Today's packaging is heat proof and won't harm your bird. Step three, smooth lumpy gravy by putting it through a sieve. Thicken too thin gravy by dissolving a teaspoon of cornstarch or flour into a few tablespoons of cold water, then slowly adding it to the simmering gravy. Thin out too thick gravy with some water or chicken broth. Spice up bland gravy with salt, soy sauce, pepper, chicken stock, and or a dash of fortified wine, port, or bourbon. Step four. Moisten dry turkey by putting slices into a casserole dish, covering them with two cups of chicken broth that you brought to a boil with some pan drippings, covering the dish with foil, and baking it for about 10 minutes. Step five, rescue slightly burnt dinner rolls by scraping off the black parts with a cheese grater. Step six, save soggy stuffing by spreading it on a greased cookie sheet, separating it with a fork, and baking it uncovered at 325 degrees for about 15 minutes. Step seven, salvage gluey mashed potatoes by transferring them to a casserole dish, topping them with butter and grated cheese, and heating. Step eight, solve practically any pie or cheesecake mishap by spooning the good parts of the dessert into parfait glasses, alternating with layers of whipped cream. Step nine, speaking of whipped cream, keep a can or two on hand to artfully cover unsightly desserts or stretch any small ones. Your guests will never know the difference. Did you know? The Butterball Turkey Talk Line, established in 1980, is mostly manned by home economics teachers.